the integral. And we have the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of sine to the 7th theta times cosine to the 5th theta d theta. And what we're going to do is break out one of the cosines here. So this equals the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of sine to the 7th theta times cosine to the 4th theta times cosine theta d theta. And remembering that sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, we manipulate that to substitute in for cosine squared, and it'll be cosine squared squared, because this is the fourth power. So this equals the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of sine to the seventh theta times 1 minus sine squared theta squared times cosine theta d theta. And now if we let u equal sine theta du equals cosine theta d theta. So we can substitute that in. It's easier to work with u's. And because u is sine theta, the value of sine theta from 0 to pi over 2 goes from 0 to 1. So this equals the integral from 0 to 1 of u to the 7th times 1 minus u squared squared du. And expanding this term here, this equals the integral from 0 to 1 of u to the 7th times 1 minus 2u squared plus u to the 4th du. And now multiplying through by the u to the 7th, this equals the integral from 0 to 1 of u to the 7th minus 2u to the 9th plus u to the 11th du. And taking the integral, this equals 1 eighth u to the eighth minus 1 fifth u to the tenth plus 1 twelfth u to the twelfth evaluated from 0 to 1. And this equals 1 eighth minus 1 fifth plus 1 twelfth that's the evaluation when u is 1 minus 0. So we add these together. We have 15 minus 24 plus 10 over 120, the lowest common denominator. And that equals 1 over 120. So the value of sine to the 7th theta, cosine 5th to the theta, d theta, evaluated from 0 to pi over 2 equals 1 over 120.